Heather, it's been pretty warm and can we expect more warm temperatures, Josh? Yeah, in fact, it's going to get even warmer than where we are later on this afternoon. This afternoon is just going to be warm and humid, but by the time we get into Mother's Day weekend, hot temperatures are going to be rolling in. You won't want to miss that 10 day here in just a little while. There's a view right now. Clark Griffey can and clean. Things pretty quiet there, but we are watching a little bit of fog in spots. Waco at two mile visibility. Of course, the candy, you're down to three quarter miles. So give yourself a little bit of extra time on that morning commute in case you encounter some of this fog. Temperatures dipping down to the 60s in most spots. This is where that cold front came through yesterday where it didn't. That moisture's already moved back in mid 70s across the Brazos Valley. No rain at this time. Radar pretty quiet, but that's going to change later on this afternoon out over West Texas. Cold front sitting off to the west. That'll eventually bring us some storm chances tomorrow, but before it does, it's going to ignite quite a few severe thunderstorms to our northwest. Scattered severe storm potential from Oklahoma City down through Wichita Falls, Abilene. It's possible that gets upgraded to numerous storm potential as we head into the afternoon as they are expecting large hail and some tornadoes out of the system off to our northwest. Now we'll have to monitor it, see if any of that could sneak into our western counties, but overall it's only about a 20% chance of rain late this afternoon. I think most of us stay dry. Cloud covers around for the first part of the day. I think we break into a little bit of sunshine this afternoon. And again, we'll watch out to the west to see if showers and thunderstorms can sneak into our western counties. Our better chance of rain comes up as we get into the afternoon tomorrow or into the day tomorrow. Rather, that's when we'll see more scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. I think overall the severe threat with this is low, but wouldn't surprise me if we see some uh, heavy rains to gusty winds, maybe some large hail out of the stronger storms. All that gets out of here by the way, with time we get into Thursday night. Friday looks dry and hopefully we can get rain out of this because if we don't, it is going to be a very hot weekend. It's going to be hot regardless, but I have 96 on the board coming up Saturday, 97 on Sunday. And here's the key. The temperatures out west where it's a little drier, that's where you'll see them get into the triple digits for the first time this year. If we happen to hit 100 here locally in Waco, typically that'll be the hottest or the earliest we've seen it since 1984. So some very, very abnormally warm temperatures on the way for Mother's Day. Whew, triple digits already. Thank you, Josh.